Hi, today we're going to be looking at SpecOps Password Auditor. SpecOps Password Auditor is a free tool which will allow IT admin, security and compliance officers to check the quality of the password policy within their Active Directory. It will also produce a very nice report which will show us which users are currently using a breached or a leaked password in your AD. So first of all, let's head on over to the specopssoft.com website, click on the products tab, go down to freeware and then click on the password auditor icon. This will take us to the password auditor page and from here we can click on the free download link. And once we do that, that will all take us to the sign up page. All we need to do is fill in our details here with a valid email address and that will generate an email which will contain two links. The first link is the MSI file, so the setup file. The second link is a license file. We'll need both of those files during the uh, installation and the first run of the tool. So make sure you grab both of those links. So let's minimize these windows now and do the installation and run the reports. So let's double click on the MSI. Now, Password Auditor can be installed on any Windows 10 or above uh, workstation or server, so it's server 2016, server 2019, as long as it's domain joined and it has .NET 4.7 installed on it. So let the setup go through its process. At the end, we can tick the box to start Auditor and then click Finish. Once Auditor opens, uh, we then have the ability to add the license file, so where I'm hovering the mouse right now, we can uh, click on a link here, mine's already licensed, and then point it to our license file and away we go. Also on this page, we can see which domain we're currently connected to. We can also choose where we want to do our scan from. So the scan route. So if we hit the, uh, the three dots, we can choose a sub OU, which contains our users if we need to. Most of the time, people will want to scan at the root of their domain. But if you want to do a more targeted scan, you can do so. Finally on here we can choose which domain controller we want to connect to. It's always a good idea to connect to a local DC, um, so a, a DC that's local to the workstation you're running this tool from. We don't want to be dragging data over the WAN links. The second page takes us to the breached passwords uh, options. So we, first of all we can skip the scan. Uh, secondly, we can use uh, any previously downloaded uh, SpecOps uh, Express database. And we can also uh, scan for the latest version or download the latest version. Now, this database is currently five gigabytes in size and current contains 738 million leaked password hashes. Uh, we also need to choose a local directory where we're going to store this database. So make sure you've got enough space um, in your uh, on your C drive of your workstation or server that you're running this from. We're then going to run the scan. As you can see, it goes through very quickly. That's a good sign because it means we're not cracking anybody's passwords. We're simply comparing hashes. Uh, so your Active Directory password hashes compared to the ones in our database. Once we got to the reports page, we can see that we have two types of report, gold reports and blue reports. The gold reports require domain admin level access. So if you only see blue reports, you've only got domain user access. So any regular user can see the blue reports. Only domain admins can see the gold reports. Let's take a look at the breached password report. Now in this uh, report, we can see that we have eight users currently running leaked passwords. We can see things like their username, the OU where those users are located, and also when they last logged in, and also which policy, which password policy applies to those users. So it's just the default domain in this case. We can also export this report if you want to, to a CSV file. So if you want to use it in a script or as a source for a script, we can do so as well. So let's just cancel that and go back. Another really interesting report on here is identical passwords. So a uh, common trait with users is that they tend to reuse uh, passwords when they have multiple accounts in an active directory. And this report will identify 
uh, users that uh, perform such action, actions. It can be really important if you have admins that are reusing passwords to identify these people. These passwords might not be breached, it, but it just pulls out if they're identical or not. Another good report, particularly for service desk staff, is the ability to see when users' passwords are expiring. The reason this is important, especially these days when lots of people are working from home, is to be able to see when access to company resources may stop. So if they're working from home, they're not going to get the pop-up message and therefore being able to proactively reach out to users and let them know when something may happen uh, could be really useful. Let's just click back on here now. Another useful report for compliance officers is the password policy compliance uh, page. So in here, we can see a number of different standards that organizations may need to comply with. So whether it's PCI, NIST or NCSC, they're available within here. And you can see that we've got green ticks, red dots and yellow circles. Uh, the reason for this is that uh, when you have red dots, that means you're totally non-compliant. So if we click on here, we can see that none of our rules in this password policy comply with uh, our NIST requirements. However, if we click on the uh, yellow dot, we can see that we are partially compliant. So just one of our rules in this particular case. So this really helps, again, our, our compliance or audit officers make the right choices. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot of information in here. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could get a, a, an executive summary, uh, which uh, is a, lo a little bit easier to read? And that's exactly what we can do when we hit the Get PDF Report. So we can choose between a full or a, a much shorter summary option, hit the Generate button, and that produces us a nice PDF file. And in this PDF, uh, if we scroll down once it's loaded, we can see very much like pen test reports, we can see that we get a score and then it identifies all of the different categories where there may be risks and uh, also offers um, some guidance about how you might want to fix those weaknesses as well. And as we scroll down through here, we can see um, a breakdown of all of those individual gold and blue reports that are available on the, uh, on the initial reporting screen. Password orders are going to be run as many times as you like in your organization. But if you'd like to enforce stronger password policies or maybe passphrase policies within your organization, that can be handled by a sister product called SpecOps Password Policy. If you want to take a look at password policy or password auditor in any further detail, please let us know by reaching out on specopsoft.com. Hope you've enjoyed the demo. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.